Hi, welcome to another video of Quantity Surveying Studio. In this video, we will look into the different contracting arrangements that is used in a construction project. So let's move into the video. The first and the most often used arrangement is called the single prime contractor. Under this arrangement, the owner will first contract with a design professional or a design contractor to perform the requisite planning and design works. The design contractor can utilize the specialized consultant help or their services to carry out the designing of some specialized works. Once the design is completed, the owner then contracts with a single contractor to carry out the execution part of the project. Now all the procurement and subcontractors comes under the single prime contractor. So this will insulate the owner to a limited extent from claims or disputes that arise from these suppliers or subcontractors. The next arrangement is called the multiple prime contractor. This is also called independent prime contractor arrangement. Under this contracting model, the owner still retains the design professional as a single point of responsibility for all the planning and design of the project. However, the owner will then issue a series of con construction contracts to different prime contractors. There will be more than one prime contractors. This multiple prime contracting arrangement may be organized by craft or trade. That is, a civil works will be given to one contractor, the structural works to the second contractor, the mechanical to another contractor or the electrical to another contractor or it can be also organized by project phase that is initial works to one contractor the building works to another contractor maybe the parking and basement works to another contractor the landscape works to another contractor the concept is that the project delivery can be sped up by allowing construction to begin prior to completion of full design so once a uh, Initial design is completed, the initial contractor can be used to carry out the initial works. If the building one design is completed, the building one contractor can start the work instead of waiting for the entire design completion of the project. So this is the main advantage of multiple prime contractor. The next one is a design built arrangement. The concept here is that the design and execution part is done by a single contractor. So there is a single point of responsibility for both design and the project execution and the subcontractors, the suppliers and the, all the design consultants will be coming under the single contractor who will be taking care of both the design and execution part. The next arrangement is called the agency construction management arrangement. This is also called as project management or program management contracting. Here the owner still maintains a direct contractual relationship with both the design professional and the execution contractor, but will also have a contract with a independent construction manager who will be coordinating between the two other entities that is the design contractor and the execution contractor and will be overseeing the activities of both these contractors. The construction manager is here granted with some authority of a limited agent of the owner. That is, they are given some contractual authority to take certain actions in the name of the owner and the owner will be bound by such actions. Some other actions, some critical actions, however, will be reserved under exclusively to the owner. Now, the last arrangement is called the construction at risk arrangement. This is also called as a construction management at risk model. Here the owner maintains a direct relationship again with the design professional and a separate relationship with the construction manager. In this manner, the owner will provide for multiple prime contracting to speed up the project delivery cycle while at some time shed some potential liability with respect to the multiple primes. The construction manager holds all the trade contracts and the liability for the same here in this arrangement. I hope this video was informative and you have gained some knowledge about the different contract arrangement that takes place in a construction project. So please do subscribe for more quantity surveying contracts, commercial related videos. Until the next video, keep learning, stay safe and take care. And thank you for watching this video.